checking the other thing. What's up, how you doing? Inspecting and checking the um, auto zone sign. Look like a lot of it doesn't light up. And some of it does, and some of it like flashes. Looks like. How's it going, my man? All right, not too bad. Oh, my setup? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody looks at that. I'm basically, I, I just, I do a lot of YouTube videos. Okay. So I just, every time I t see something interesting, I just put it on YouTube. Okay. So I'm just... So I, I know that's your phone. What are the other things? Well, this is my, this is my power bank. So that, that's so my phone don't die. Got so it. if I'm doing like a long video, I just, that'll give me hours and hours of record time. Got it. Yeah, and this just feeds it over. This extends out so as a... Thanks, this guy works like five jobs, man. <laughs> <laughs> I see him everywhere. He's doing a good job, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I, uh, that's what I do. I, I, I just saw him doing this. I found it amusing, amazing, and yeah. I think I recorded it. So, did you put together that red handle yourself? or? Well, yeah, then that came like that. This this is basically a, just a, like a stand. It's almost like a, like a selfie stick. Got it. And just, you, you, you can get all kinds. And you, there's so many different kinds out there nowadays. And so, if I were to look for something like that, what would I call it? Um, this is like a, almost like a, um, this is like a selfie stick. Okay. But they got tripods, they, they got gimbals. The gimbals are the electronic ones that, that stabilize the, the video. Huh. So say if you're really big on YouTube and like on videoing, you could move around and keep the camera still. Okay. So you won't get that, sh that shaky motion. G-I-M-B-O? Yeah, uh, yeah, gimbal, yeah, G-I-M-B-O, yeah. Okay. Um, there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. If you check around, there's so much stuff on the market now. I got one of those sticks that's, that go up there like four feet high. At the bottom has a tripod on it. And you can, you can sync it with your camera where you can take pictures and stuff too. So there's all, you just got to shop around because whatever use you're going to use it for, you just got to figure out what you're going to use it for. Everybody has a different need, you know. All right, take care, man. Be safe out there. I choose not to. I, I can get a gimbal. I, 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 a matter of fact, I probably have one. don't even know it. But um, I just try to do it regular. One day I try the gimbal and see how. I know we will make the video more stable. We won't have that shaky. Um, that that um, well, it's all a matter of holding your hand still too. Guys, a better vantage point. See what he's looking at. I'm not sure if those are LEDs up there. 
they, they look like they are, but it's kind of hard to tell. Years ago, all those signs were lit up by neon lights. And you had to put like multiple transformers to run the neon lights. If you ran them off of one transformer, you were sure sure to blow the transformer for sure. And then they, um, I guess they upgraded them to like fluorescent lights or CFL lights, and those went around. For, those were around for a while. Now all the new technology is LED, so it, it's it's kind of it changes with the time, you know. Who knows after that, there may be some other technology they might use. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's another technology out there that we don't know about yet. Could be some kind of... Well, maybe there is. Like laser or... Who knows what else they have out there. There's so much technology on the market now. It's just gotta, if you can look for it and find it, it's out there somewhere. If not, then you can create it yourself. And he has a, I don't know if you guys can see it. He has a, a, a pretty good size, um, I think that's a, a, a make, not make, um, TIG welder. I think that's called the TIG welder. A different kind. Oh, that could be an arc welder too. I'm not too. Sh I can't tell from here. It's all kind of weld welding machines. That might be an arc welder. It's like Just by him being up in the air, he's gonna make more money doing that than if he was working doing that same thing on the ground. So if he was on the ground, he'd probably get one rate, but working up there is definitely a different rate. Because now he's got his hydraulic license, his hoisting license, and he probably have his rigging license as well, or endorsement. I just figured I'd give you a little footage of what goes on in the in the city. Down here by, um, most of y'all probably know where this is. This is uh, Washington Park Mall, right in the parking lot. Right here in uh, Roxbury. Just give you a quick pan around and see what's, what's around. Not a whole lot, but something to see. So those are custom made. You have to order it based off of the, the letter. Because it looked like what he pulled out of there was a whole, a whole assembly. And those could, they, they look like the old neon ones, but I could be wrong. Looking at it, it looks like the old neon, but I can't see the, the, the actual makeup of it, so I can't tell you for sure. But looking from here, it looks like the old um, neon. I can't see the, the internal guts of it, though.
those outriggers that well, some people call them stabilizers those are very 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 important to use when you're using a, um, a lift that, that kind of stabilizes the weight of the truck so it doesn't topple over you'd be surprised at the difference of having those and not having those it makes a very very big difference Not to mention, he must, he must have his welding license too, because he gets the welder on the truck. All those machineries, you gotta have a, a certain license to use or training. So it all depends on what you're gonna do. Can't really see all the lights that good. It looks like the lights are on. It's kind of has it, but it looks like the A was flashing. It looks like all the other ones appear to be okay. I could be wrong because the light is not really doing a lot of justice either. give this company a plug while I'm down here so if you ever need any sign work done on your on your um, on your neon signs or regular signs always got to give people a plug so that's the people to call That's why, that's why they put the name on the side of the truck so people can um, 
people can read it and hopefully you might need some um they're located in Shrewsbury, wow, it's pretty it's pretty 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 good distance, not too too far, but pretty far enough. So if you don't know if you don't have the yellow pages and your Google's not working, you can always look them up by saying, I remember that truck. They're located in Shrewsbury. He's doing a great job up there. He's doing the right thing. He's taking his time. You know, that's the way he's supposed to do it. Whenever you do this kind of work, you're never in a rush. Like I said, I can't really tell if those are neon lights, but the, the way it came out, it looks like they're neon because neon is kind of set up almost the same way where you got one in, one out, but it's, you can't tell the makeup of the inside of it. The internal tells, tells all, the, um, all the difference. But I don't think they make a lot of... They still make neon lights, but not a whole lot of that stuff. Now it's all... Um, LED. LED is like, like allegedly lasts a lot longer and supposedly cheaper at the same time. It doesn't have a ballast. If it does have a ballast, it's probably on the inside of that box. So it probably is on the inside of that box behind the T. Today's the day, or the, we're supposed to have another, I think, eight inches of snow, they're saying. They say in the next couple of hours, Boston's going to have a good six to eight hour um, snowstorm. So, hopefully we don't get hit like Texas and those other states down there. But they got it pretty, pretty bad. I was talking to... Um, What's his name? One of the, one of the YouTubers. Uh, oh, Mr. Hines. How can I forget him? He was telling me that um, Texas got pretty hit pretty hard down there. Gonna give you guys a little bit more footage of this and then uh be heading out of here do one of my many things that i always do So he's an electrician and he's a technician. He's 
is both. Those of you who don't know, they changed the name from um, Save a Lot to Price is Right. The no, Price Right, sorry about that. Price Right. That's like maybe a month ago now, or maybe almost two months. So there's no longer a Save a Lot. It's called Price, Price Right. Same workers, same, same everything, but just the name change. I know that guy's not gonna try to go through there. I got a question. Are, are those LED or, for, or neon? Huh? Are those lights LED or neon? These are neon. Neon, I kind of look like neon from up here. I didn't think they made those anymore. Those are special, let me take a, get a video of that. that those are like special waters, wow. Those, those are like the dinosaurs. You don't see those around oh, too much. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was like, wow. I don't know why 
it's, it's, I don't know why Auto AutoZone doesn't change over to LEDs. And that's what I was thinking. They had LEDs a long time ago. Yeah. The neons, and you could have those custom made and everything, too. Yep. I used to deal with those years and years ago. Wow. wow. You're doing a good job up there, though. Was it is it the is it the power supply that's messed up? No, I thought it was the unit. Yeah. Oh, the oh, the wire itself. Yeah, burned right in half. Oh wow. And this attaches to the transformer. Gotcha. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And and those transformers. I wasn't are... sure about this. Uh huh. Oh, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You know what you're doing. So, so the, it's the transformer wire. Yeah. Gotcha. So I just replaced that. Uh huh. Now I'll put this back in. Gotcha. You're doing a good job. I'm, I'm sure. watching from a distance. I said this guy know what he's doing. So you're an electrician, you're a technician, and all the above. <laughs> and an asshole. Not that. <laughs> you're doing a good job, though. Keep up the good work. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a that's a skill that, that not too many people have. A lot of people. A couple more years. You're gonna retire? Yeah. I hear you. Yeah, I've had enough of this shit. Hey, hey, I was not... over on uh, Route 1 in uh, Walpole uh -huh. yesterday. And I was working on Walmart's pylon sign <laughs> facing route, route 1. Oh, wow. I had to freaking boom up in there, climb inside the freaking <laughs> sign. Wow. The sign was like 20, 25 feet long. Uh huh. But it was only four feet high. So wow. I'm inside the sign like oh, this, wow. and I'm gonna get way the hell down there. <laughs> that's crazy, huh? That's too much. That's way too much. I remember one time we had to do a neon sign, right? So this guy tried to jump off the other transformer. He yeah. burned up the whole damn transformer because you gotta isolate the transformer for, for wattage. If you don't do that, you try to pick it back off the other one, you burn up the whole damn thing. I run this at 15,000 volts. Oh, yeah, you can, you can get jolted off of that, trust oh, me. You get 15, oh, oh, yeah, if you yeah, touch it the wrong way. On your ass. You touch it the wrong way, you don't want to go through the heart. You better off do it like this, but if it goes across the uh, the heart, you got a problem. Yeah, I was working with a guy one day, and he, and he saw a, he was up on the roof working inside a can like that. Yeah. That the letters amounted to, and he saw a screwdriver. Oh, he went to go grab it? He grabbed it. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> And he was he was in water. Oh. He was kneeling on kneeling down on the roof. Oh my goodness! That's on the crazy. roof, and it was wet. Freaking sat him on his ass, and I think it knocked him out for. Well, that will knock you out because now he's making a circuit. He he done made himself the circuit by touching that. He should have left that alone. Right. <laughs> don't even touch him. You see him in water. Don't even mess with that. Leave that crap uh, alone. Yeah. Like, I learned my lesson. I got a few jokes from like 277, which is on the low side, but you'll feel it. Trust 277, me. 277, that's... Yeah, it's all that commercial stuff I, they use. I've gotten hit off of 277. I, I thought I was freaking dead at that point. You'll feel I, it. My guts were freaking churning. And it, it'll, it'll wake you up, trust I, me. I was stuck to it. I couldn't get off of it. <laughs> trust me, you're nobody, yeah. That's why I say you got to respect it. If you don't respect it, it won't respect you. Like, I see guys going there with these uninsulated pliers. I'm like, get some insulated pliers. Like, why are you going there uninsulated for, you know? It doesn't make sense. So what's this for? I do, I got a YouTube channel. And I, I record everything I see in public. So I, I, I cover, like, I saw this amazing that you're up there doing this. So I, I always record stuff put it on my channel. So this is a good thing. And I, 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 got, I got a little plug for the company, too. I took a picture of the, oh, so, yeah. so anybody wants to call that company and get, get, get work done, they can do it. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, I, I admire you out here in the cold doing that because that's not easy. No, Trust it's me, not. you can't get these young guys to do this kind of work. Nobody anymore. wants to do it anymore. Nobody wants to do it. You're right. No. Nobody, they all want They're to. They're the dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> and the guys that are doing it now, they don't have the skill. Yeah. They don't. I see guys. One guy was showing me. He told me something was knob and tube, and I'm like, he showed me a rate of rise detector. Told me it's knob and tube. I go, that's not a knob and tube. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. He, he never even seen knob and tube in his life, and tell me that's knob and tube. I go, get out of here, buddy. Yeah. Like, stop, stop lying to people. Now I've been too. You still find yeah. it in all the old houses. Ah. And like, those yeah. ones, you got to be careful because you don't know what's the negative and the positive. That's they right. both like look the same. So you grab the wrong Correct. one, <laughs> you know about it. Correct. <laughs> like, nowadays, you got black and white wise, and now you assume the black is the positive, yeah. the white the neutral, like, if they did it the right way. Yeah. But some people, like, they, 
all kind of stupidness. And then you gotta never assume. Never assume anything. You're right. I see people do stuff so ass backwards. It's not even funny. So I, that's why I keep my eyes open. Yeah. Right? I always yeah. bring my testers. I don't use the chicken stick. A lot of people use that little little chicken stick. That's only to tell you there's power there. Yeah. If you want to check the circuit, you got to get the wiggies out and do it the right way. That's right. You have to. See all the guys coming in and say, oh, you got power. I go, how do you know you got power? How do you know you got a circuit? You don't even 